Factor number two of the night for the JNS Steel Modified. They're on the hammer off of turn number four, and the green fly is out. Senior Steve leads the field off in a turn one and two. Down the back stretch, Eric Lozier trying to match him on the young. Sullivan moving to the second spot, down to the inside of the 03, Savior Speed back to third. Danny Sullivan now trying to chase down the 69 of Ryan McClain. Get ugly for John Musketeer. When the 41 steps on it down the back section, maybe Eddie Musketeer's got something. Three-way battle for the runner-up slot. All right. Way, way better. Okay. Bryant in the three has third spot. Bridge trying to hang on on the outside of the 26, Hammond in the 98. Well, holds him at bay. Steve Williams sitting in second. Rock and Streeter side by side for position. Streeter. Miller on the high side, Bryant down low, Bryant clawing his way up there. As they work through turns one and two and down the back stretch, leading them three wide is the 32 down low on the inside. On the outside, it is the 23 of John Putin. Three wide now for second, it will be John Putin to lead lap number one as they continue to shuffle back three wide and very... Wally Fitzgerald, Kyle Walters, and the 68 falling back. Battle for fifth place. Fireball Roberts in the 50X. Leon Gagno drop kick back to sixth place in the four car. Roberts wants more, but he's boxed in. Gagno on the outside. Lucher dead ahead in front of him. Joey Roberts has nowhere to go. in line, he's going to have some pressure coming from Dave Demarest. Rose now gets a great run off of two and grabs the lead. He slides up the raceway. Ryan drives back underneath. They'll be side by side momentarily. Gary trying to hang with him. Don't count out McClatchy. He's there on the inside. Contact off of two. Slate tries to tuck it down one low lane, but can't do it. Tyler Terry is the leader. Five foot advantage for the 08. There's the 55 back after him. McKeon to the top of turn number two. There's the point leader spinning. And Rich Ricky looking for a way to get around those two pair of racers. Trying to make a move on Jimmy Ryan at the same time as he holds off Vince Quinville. Gray racing up at the front. Ryan trying to protect the lead in the 60 car. Quinville trying to take it away. On the outside, the 78 looking for two in a row. We've got Cody Aubin, driver of the number seven JNS Steel Modified here at Airborne. Cody, you got a win last year, top ten in points. Uh, you must be riding pretty high here coming into 2015. Yeah, we're uh, we're definitely looking into 2015. Um, we got some new sponsors this year, and uh, you know we got Make a Wish, which is 
tremendous, you know, kids, you know, love that stuff. Um, we got Liquor and Wine Warehouse, Pulsifer's Logging, Morris Forks Redemption, Casella, Lambos. Um, I just can't thank the crew enough. This season um, in the garage has been tremendous with the help and stuff like that. It's been phenomenal. I'm really looking forward to 2015. Yeah, talk about this Make-A-Wish program that you guys have with the, sum- the number seven car here. Well, all throughout the winter, my grandfather's been dealing with uh, Make-A-Wish, a guy named Tim, Tim over in Vermont, and... Uh, it's just something we like giving back to the, to them, you know what I mean? And, um, we've always had Alzheimer's on the car. We've had a family members with Alzheimer's and stuff. So we wanted to try something different with Make-A-Wish, and we're really looking forward to it. And we, we hope that we can uh, give back to Make-A-Wish. Our goal is every time we're in top three that we're going to give 25 bucks to Make-A-Wish, and we're hoping some other people could match that or donate something to it. Pretty cool program, and uh, congratulations on putting that together. And, folks, you heard him. If you want to make a donation, make a wish, go see uh, Cody Ob in there. It's a great cause, and uh, glad to have him at Airborne Park Speedway on the 7 car. Congratulations, and good luck this year. Thank you. Cody Aubin. Seth O'Neill holds him off for now. Side-by-side racing for spot 6, 7, 8, and 9. Four spot. Three wide is John Terry working the rim. Terry in the 43, way up high on the outside off of turn number two. Four wide behind him. Richie Turner backs out of it. You have uh, Daniels down low. The 70 McClatchy up high. Oh, there goes McClatchy through the bunker towards the Jersey barrier, spinning in the middle of the back stretch. Run down the leader, Chris Clark, but he hasn't quite cleared Eddie Brissett just yet. They race in the turn number three. Checkered flag. How about this for a story? Jimmy Bushy wins the Renegade feature. Monahan second, Gordon third, McKiernan and Fitzgerald here top five. Turn number four down the front stretch. The checkered flag is out. It's going to be Tyler Terry's. Second goes to the 55. At the line, it looked like the 70 of McClatchy, then the 18 of Duquette. Out of turn four, Jesse Marks gets the win. Wells will run. Checkered flag in the air. Two in a row for BQ2. Quinville wins it. Proctor second. Atkins will take it. Hetzler will get the win. His first of the year. Third. Chris Clark wins the second feature. Second is going to... This is it. Checkered flag is in the air. Chris LeVay takes the win from... Out of turn four, it's Rock in for win number three. Slate will go second. Second at the line, Branham wins. Sullivan is second, Haywood is third. Four to this one. Wendell with the 78 off of turn number four, he's gonna win it. Second goes to Durgan in the 17. Third goes to Atkins in the win. as well, Obi underneath Miller down the back stretch. That's the third spot. The leader is Robert Bryant Jr. He'll close to the win. Bryant, your feature winner and mid-season champion. Masterson second, Jamie Obi third.